In Bunyala, Budalangi constituency in western Kenya, people trek through dusty roads and primitive paths to get to a small village called Mundere. Something special has happened here, they believe. A fiercest reptile that is believed to be one of good omen has stayed in a resident's hut for some days. Many believe it brought a message, a message of peace. Residents are perhaps not aware that they are dealing with a venomous black mamba that can cause sudden death. The snake develops its color depending on its natural habitat. So it has brought peace, and indeed good peace. In Nansana, near Kampala city, an animal specialist tells a story of a snake they went to rescue and found a traditional spiritualist using it as an aid to administer remedies to his clients. The man was dealing with a venomous Egyptian cobra, <laughs> capable of killing a human being in less than five minutes. So this guy was using it, worshipping it. His clients would get their pay and worship the snake. He rubs his body around their bodies and they would pay him highly. In Mirembe Buwama, along Masaka Road, animal keepers from Uganda Wildlife Education Center go to rescue African rock pythons only to encounter a group of traditional spiritualists who insist the snakes are gods. Well, the gods are not found despite efforts to dig them out of their habitat. So it's possible for supernatural power to be into something. But when something like a, a crocodile or a snake uh, demonstrates something that may be beyond the, the brains of a crocodile, that may be supernatural, but it does not mean that God is in it. The African rock python is among the world's largest snakes. It is found in sub-Saharan Africa. The non-venomous giant reptile can grow up to 20 feet long and can weigh up to 135 kilograms. A normal python feeds once a month, although some take a very long time to feed again after their last meal. Sometimes they hunt for something slow, something easy to catch, and that something can be a human being, although they rarely have humans on their menu. It has a skill of killing with muscle, and that makes it a special and feared reptile. It constricts and suffocates its prey. You've rescued many of these. Yeah. What do people tell you that is special about them? Um, worshipping is, a, to us, we, we call it superstition. It's, a, it's just a belief which is, a, I think, from traditional times. People have, have worshipped legs, have worshipped trees, have worshipped snakes. Each time you wake and mole keepers get a call and dash off to rescue an African rock python, they will find people worshipping it. If not, a collection of myths will have spread across villages about the reptile. But I had an experience with uh, Indians one time who came over and some Chinese. And when they saw the, the shedded skin of the snake, they actually asked me to sell it to them. And I told them that's not why we, we are there. We are for conservation education. But when I probed further as to why they wanted the skin, they said the skin, um, they have a belief, uh, rituals. There are certain rituals that they perform in India that uh, with that skin, you'll be able to be cured of certain diseases. And I told them it's impossible for us to give you that. Some people are fearful of this giant python and will kill it on sight. Habitats for pythons are disturbed which could endanger them. Traditional spiritualists also hunt for them. What makes some people believe and actually worship a snake like this? Could it be because of its special skin and the special inscription? As Nicholas tells me, it has letters N, double, double I, L, double I, L, which uh, can his, be... His name is... Uh... It ends up being called Neil. Neil. Yeah. So Neil is his name. Yeah. The African rock python was listed in the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species so that it can be conserved. Psychologists conclude that people who worship creatures such as animals are simply superstitious. Frank Walisimbi, NTV.